Hello friends, in this tutorial, I will gonna show you how to use callback function in JavaScript. So basically, uh, this is a callback function. Uh, suppose we have one function. In this function, uh, we pass some variables argument like number, string, etc. And we are also passing a function name. And after processing our uh, process of variables, strings, etc., we call a function which call another function which is uh, which is called a callback function let me give you an example uh, suppose we have function uh, which will alert some data okay so I'm gonna function alert in this we pass uh, two argument uh, like number and one more argument alert function okay so or we can do some sx stuff like uh, a function name like callback okay so in this function b let uh, d is equal to a plus b a plus b and we call a callback function okay so and we do window dot alert in this we call a callback function and we pass this d argument or both argument okay so in this simple function we pass two variable a and b and one function name and we alert this function name callback a and b so now uh, we define some more functions like add and it will also get some two variables x and y and this is return x plus y yeah and one more function like function multiplication x and y and it will return the multiplication of okay, the multiplication of x multiplication y okay so now I'm gonna call this function function alert so now I'm gonna call this function alert in this I'm gonna pass 8 9 and I'm gonna pass the function name like add or multiplication whatever I want uh, I'm gonna pass add Okay, oh, sorry, uh, add function. Okay, so whenever our page is load, uh, 8 and 9 variable pass in this alert function, and add number is pass in callback function, and window.alert call callback function called an add. And in this function, we will pass these two argument a and b, uh, which is our 8 and 9, and we return x plus y. So let's save this program and uh, in this browser, I'm gonna refresh this page. Uh, callback function is not a function. Okay, callback function is not a function. Window dot alert callback a and b. So let d is equal to callback function e and b store in it and i will console dot log d let's save and try to load this program okay so you can easily see this uh 70 number uh, okay so this is a basic flow first of all alert 8 9 add function is passed 
and 8 and 9 variable are passed through this and add is a function name which is passed in this callback function let d is equal to callback means add a and b add 8 and 7 and it will return 17 and we console it out okay console log and d so in our console window we can see easily the number of 17 the sum of 8 and 9 now i'm gonna try to multiplication more and pass some 10 number so we have to get a uh, amount uh, like multiplication of 8 and 10 18 so refresh this page and now we get 80 numbers so this is how a uh, callback function is work so uh, what is the use of callback functions so uh, in this function uh, we have passed uh, our arguments like 8 and 10 it will process all the things suppose uh, alert function we pass this a and b so now uh, if we want to use this function as many time with different callback functions like uh, this is uh, my this my function is always in a common place so i defer i define this function as this and if i want to adding to number multiplication subtracting modulize anything what i want uh, i just pass two argument with a function name and after i create a light variable d and calling this function with these two parameter and console it out and i define modular function like addition multiplication subtraction anything what i want in other functions so using callback functions we can modulize our whole function system in modulizing functions and after process our callback function is called this is the real use of callback functions thank you friends